In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set a trailing stop loss on Binance futures. A trailing stop loss is an essential tool for traders looking to manage risk and protect their profits in the dynamic world of futures trading. So let's dive right in and explore how you can set this up using the Binance app. To begin, you'll need to open the Binance app and navigate to the futures section. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just getting started, getting acquainted with the futures section is your first step. Here, you'll be able to monitor your open positions, explore trading pairs and execute trades. Once you're in the futures area, you'll either need to enter a new trade or select an existing open position. If you're new to this, entering a trade means buying or selling a futures contract based on your market predictions. If you already have an active position, simply tapping on it will bring up options for managing it. Now once you're focused on a particular trade, look for the option labelled close. By tapping on close, you'll reveal the menu where trailing stop is prominently featured. This is the feature that's going to allow us to set up a trailing stop loss. Trailing a stop can be thought of as putting your trade on a leash, allowing it some room to move but always keeping it close to you for safety. Next, you'll need to set the callback rate. You might be wondering, what exactly is a callback rate? Well, this is the percentage that determines how far the price can move against your position before the trailing stop is triggered. For instance, a 1% callback rate means if the price retraces by 1%, your trailing stop will be activated. Choosing the right callback rate is crucial and it often depends on your trading strategy and how much room you want to give your trade to run. Having set your callback rate, the next and final step is to confirm to apply these settings. Once you've confirmed, Binance will automatically adjust your stop as the price moves in your favour. This means as the market price increases, your stop loss will trail behind it, locking in profits along the way while protecting you from sudden downturns. By using a trailing stop loss, you're giving your trade some flexibility to capitalise on favourable market conditions while maintaining a safety net. And that's it. With these steps, you can now confidently set up a trailing stop loss on Binance Futures, adding an extra layer of security to your trading activities. I hope this guide has empowered you to trade smarter and manage your risk more effectively. Thanks for watching and happy trading.